Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. Welcome to another California Collective plant haul for the month of September. I'm trying to think if this is my first plant haul for September. It might be. I don't know if I'm going to be purchasing any more plants for the rest of the month because I am gearing up to go home to Hawaii in the next couple of weeks. So we'll see. But today's haul is pretty good. So I'm super excited to share with you the new plant babies and stay tuned because I think the next video which I would like to film at some point today will be the planting video setting them up because most of them are bare root. Also side note, I just like hit record and noticed that I got attacked. I don't know how. Like all over my body this is so weird i don't know if it happened to me while i was eating my snack on the dining table but it's the time of the year where the ants are coming out the mealybugs are appearing and just these little insects are just coming about and i don't know i got attacked so let me know what do you guys think but try to not look at it and let's focus on the plants it was either i filmed the video looking like this looking like a mess or not filming the video at all and because they're bare root i want to take care of the plant haul and the planting with julian episode so give this video a big thumbs up for hitting record even if i got attacked by something and i could wear a hat but i want you guys to be able to see my face without further ado let's get started with today's plant haul now you guys already know I have a thing for Tritiscantias and I have also a thing for saving rescuing plants and in today's video I have a handful of Tritiscantia that kind of looks like a Big Bertha but I really don't know what it is it's like almost like if the Big Bertha and the Purple Heart had a baby this is what I imagine the Tritiscantia to look like and I have a bunch of cuttings. Let me share with you the parts that look really bad, which they're all in here. So they're all bare root, so that's why I do want to set them up in a Planting with Julian video. But I have gotten so many Tritiscantias where they look like nothing, and then in time they end up filling up a planter and coming into a whole new situation. So, say for instance, this right here I'm gonna put into a planter this is gonna live in the greenhouse and eventually it'll start looking like something maybe like this so I have these sections that I need to take care of and let me share with you the better parts of the plant these are three separate plants but I wanted to get the better parts of the plant and then the parts that were looking rough is gonna go in the greenhouse so here is the better parts of the plants. Everything is just kind of leaning on each other here. There's a lot happening. Okay, let's see here. I have another plant leaning on me. So here are the better parts of the plant. Let me bring them out so I can share with you the better part of this Tritiscantia. So this section broke off while I was messing around with it trying to figure out this plant but it's fine this is going to root up really easy I'm not mad at that there's also three churls here so that's a good section and then there's this section here like take a look at how wide the leaves are there's a baby the root system looks kind of crazy so that's a really good one and then let me share with you the one that I like seriously so you see how like this is on the narrow side so it gives me purple heart vibes but then look at how wide it is like it's giving me big bertha vibes so if any of you tritiscantia lovers i mean it's in the rough condition but i'm gonna think about what it's gonna look like in a year under my care if you can id this and maybe by the time this video goes live i will have done my research and maybe found the id on this tritiscantia but it's gorgeous and i'm just imagining it in like a planter all together it's gonna look so stunning so stay tuned but it's like senecios or sedums where i don't want to touch them because especially when they're this big and trailey i don't want to ruin the trail or the look of it and it was already in rough condition so stay tuned i'm really excited and let's see if that root ball is going to 
give me a whole new plant in the future and it's kind of like I put them in the greenhouse forget about them in time I see some activity happening another tritiscantia that I got I took it out of the soil it's just that I don't like the soil that the nursery has the plant in and it's a lot to like bring in my car I don't want to get my car dirty this is tritiscantia moses in the cradle look at the variegation and the colors like seriously I do have a little baby from Sonia's mother plant that she gave me maybe for my birthday I think and it's living in the greenhouse but I wanted more so I picked up a planter so stay tuned to see how I set this one up and I think that's all for Tritiscantias comment down below what do you think about my Tritiscantia finds of the day and then let's share a repurchase baby so my original succulent baby that i got hmm, maybe from carlsbad on the way to san diego a couple years ago died from the rain it was fairly small i finally came across the plant and it is a lot bigger than my original one that i got i think my original one i got was maybe this small this is portulaca moloconesis it is so cool and supposedly they come from Hawaii if I'm not mistaken so when I seen this I had to get it so I finally have this replacement plant and it'll be living among the plant babies here in the front of my home so hopefully when I'm done filming this video I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go look at my planter section and see if I have planters for these plant babies that I can plant them up today now a very fun aeonium i know you guys are not surprised about that either i have never seen anything like this before and i'm a sucker for aeoniums take a look at this variegation like can we just take a moment here like seriously it is so stunning and i only have one so if the babies ever did fall off Ooh, I see a spider that hitchhiked okay well I'm gonna have to take care of that I I love this thing so much it is so so gorgeous and this spider underneath here is giving me um, some weird vibes it is big and ugly so I think I'm going to take it to the tree and it can just maybe live in the tree it's under there eee! okay so let's let's not touch this anymore before it, it jumps and crawls on me <laughs> okay all right so if you remember my largest plant haul of the year i talked about a crested aeonium that was not doing good well i got a replacement and no it is not the same exact crested aeonium and i talk about that a lot on my channel with aeoniums they never look the same and they all crest differently you're never gonna find two of the same exact identical crests and they grow different babies too so i got a replacement one and i am going to plant this up in a very nice planter hopefully today take a look at it so here is the crest oh my gosh take a look at it and here's the top point of view a lot of babies here on the side oh my gosh you guys i really hope this one does well in the collection it is so stunning take a look at it from all angles really it is so gorgeous so this is my replacement plant looking forward to having it somewhere in the collection and i think this one i'm gonna have outside because i don't have any crested babies living outside in front of my home i have one more plant one more plant that i would like to share for this very fun video which by the way is also another replacement plant my original plant i got in the bay area and it is considered a rare expensive plant for me and i don't know why but it didn't do well with me and i lost the plant and i finally decided to repurchase it again and this particular plant baby is actually i want to say double the size of my original one so let me go and get it it is actually by the fountain before i bring the plant baby up i did want to show you 
some aeoniums that I also got. I forgot about this. It's so tiny and small. And if I do have these ones, they're just going to live with the rest that I have and fill up the planter. So I got my replacement plant. Are you guys ready? Can you guess what it is? Here it is. It is another alocasia stingray. I hope that this stingray will stay with me for a while. Alocasias, they stress me out, but my alocasias that are living next to my fountains, which is where this plant was, doing really good. So, thumbs up the video, send positive vibes to my replacement plant. So today's a good day. I got some replacement plants. My Portulaca molokinesis, my Crested Aeonium Sunburst Variegata, and my Alocasia Stingray are all replacement plants. And then I got some cool Tritoscantias. So let me know what do you guys think of today's California Collective Plant Haul. It's a perfect day to be outside regardless of the sky looking really sad with all of the fires happening it's a perfect day to be at home with the plant babies so stay tuned for an upcoming planting with Julen. i'm gonna put my hair back put my apron on and hopefully when i'm planting my face won't be an eyesore and even on my arm oh my goodness i'm just getting attacked by i don't know what but i hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless and give this video a big thumbs up for new plant babies for the month of september and if you guys are interested in any of the plant babies i might be able to take a cutting or two from my tritiscantia that i purchased that looks like a big bertha but not too sure it gives me a hybrid um if the purple heart and the big bertha had a baby kind of vibe so i will keep you posted on any activity with the plant babies and if you are on my patreon then you might have seen one of these plant babies today on my patreon but by the time this video goes live it will be probably a couple of weeks from now so thank you guys so much for supporting me if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel monday thursday and the vlog channel friday or sunday you get a video each and every day sound off in the comments down below what was your favorite plant in today's haul do you have any of them do you know the ids of the ones i don't know i would love to know in the comments i will see you soon until next time aloha from santa monica california and my new repurchased allocation stingray Bye.